Welcome back. Trouble does not seem to be ending for the Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal. Now the Enforcement Directorate has once again summoned Kejriwal in connection with the Delhi Excise Policy Probe. The new summons comes just a day after a Delhi court granted relief to the Amadmi Party National Convener after the Enforcement Directorate complained about, about non-compliance non with the summons. Now Kejriwal has so far skipped eight summons in the Liquorgate Probe and this is the ninth summons that the Central Agency has sent. He has been asked to appear on Thursday, which is the 21st of March. And it's not just this. The Delhi Chief Minister has also been summoned in an alleged money laundering case in the Delhi Jal Board. He has been for 18th, and that summons has been issued for the 18th of March, which is tomorrow. Now, the Amadi Party leaders continue to allege that it is a conspiracy by the centre to arrest Arvind Kejriwal. Nasir Modi ji has excise policy matter in summon bheja. अब शायद उन्हें लग रहा है कि उनकी जो गिरफ्तारी का मकसद है ये इस केस से पूरा ना हो तो इसलिए उन्होंने एक और फर्जी केस में कल अरविंद केजरीवाल जी को नोटिस भेज दिया उन्होंने दिल्ली जल बोर्ड से जुड़े हुए किसी इन्वेस्टिगेशन को ज्वाइन करने को कहा है एक ऐसा केस जो आज तक हमें पता भी नहीं चला है कि इसमें जांच क्या हो रही है ऐसा लगता है कि गिरफ्तारी करने के लिए कोई बैकअप प्लान की शुरुआत हो रही है कि अगर इस मामले में नहीं गिरफ्तार कर पाए तो उस मामले में गिरफ्तार कर लेंगे we're crossing over to my colleague Bhavtosh to tell us more about the second case that we're hearing about. Bhavtosh, when we had earlier spoken, we were talking about the ninth summons that has been issued to the Delhi Chief Minister. Now, tell us more about the case when it uh, connected to the Delhi Jal Board. Well, as far as this case is concerned, uh, it started with the arrest of former Chief uh, Engineer of Delhi Jal Board, Jagdish Arora. And uh, this case stems from an FIR that was filed by the Central Bureau of Investigation, which pertained to corruption and bribery in the Jal Board. And subsequently, uh, the Enforcement Directorate uh, carried out raids and searches at the at the residence of private assistant of uh, of Arvind Kejriwal, Bibhav. And uh, there was a press conference in which uh, our Madhvi Party leveled very serious allegation against Enforcement Directorate and also against BJP. And then ED issued a press statement uh, claiming that the bribe amount uh, which was being collected in the jail board corruption case, case went directly to the Aam Admi Party's fund. Now, what ED has said in this case is that the contract was given to a company called NKG Infrastructure worth at least 37 crore rupees, of which around 21 crore rupees was siphoned off. And that money, the, the siphoning amount of money was then used as uh, as party fund. Part of it was used, uh, uh, bribe amount was used as party fund. Uh, Aam Army Party has uh, always denied this charge, but uh, arrests have been made in this case. And in this case, Arvind Kejriwal has been summoned, and as you can see, that uh, Atishi has completely denied all these charges, claiming that this is a concocted case that has been filed by the Enforcement Directorate. So, two summons have been issued to Arvind Kejriwal. Tomorrow, he has been summoned in the Jal Board case, and on 21st of March, he has been summoned in the Excise Policy case, in which already nine summons have been issued. Now, Bhavtosh, a quick question here on this front. Now, considering that he's been granted bail and that was he was given a 15K bail yesterday in connection with the case, um, tell us more about how that affects future summons by the central agency. Well, as far as... Yeah, uh, Asha, as far as uh, the issue of bail is concerned, what the ED sources have said is that uh, they had to file a complaint uh, in the trial court, probably because he was not complying with the summons and uh, they had no option but to approach the court. And... Uh, he uh, was, in fact, present in the court because summons have been issued by the uh, court. But this does not affect uh, their trial. And uh, the, tr uh, the summons have been issued under Section 50 of PMLA. And that's the reason why a new summons has been issued. And the bail has been given uh, for the non-compliance of summons. The bail has not been given in the PMLA case. And uh, remember, K. Kavita is in the custody of uh, okay. Enforcement Directorate. And uh, if we pursue the remand note, very serious charges have been uh, leveled against the top leadership of our Madhvi party. All right, Bhavdosh, thank you so much for joining us and giving us more information on that. Now, with this, we're going to be shifting focus.